Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Passport OG. I haven't done a video from him in a while. He did a wonderful one on, uh, you know, men tricking overseas. So please like subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. Andre. <laughs> it does look like Andre. I'm not sure if it is. You might wonder why I'm starting this video out with this uh, TikTok of Andre 3000, but if you heard the gentleman in the beginning of the clip, he said, ya be, which means like, oh my gosh, or that's so cool, right? And it just shows that Andre 3000 wanted to, if allegedly it's him, get away from some of the negativity that sounds a little bit like this. How long have we been trying to tell everybody that these passport bros, the majority of them are on some bullshit? Black women been trying to tell y'all all along that these men are going to other countries only because they can't find a woman here because they're weirdos. Don't nobody want them because they're weirdos. When I saw this conversation with Dr. Umar, I actually thought of the Andre 3000 TikTok and it's alleged, but I'm not 100% sure it's him, but I'm pretty darn sure it's him. And I thought of it because when I hear this conversation, especially from Dr. Umar, he had a point where he said that, you know, women, black women don't have a lot of options and they're settling and black men have to do better. And then he talked about if you're a guy who's not getting selected, that's a you issue. And it's just an overall negative conversation, really. And when I think about just the negative vibe that comes from it, it's one of the things that I think lends to guys kind of quote unquote tricking, if you will. Now, why do I think guys trick? Well, I think guys trick because we have an environment that kind of sounds like this. I have dated quite a few very moneyed men and ladies, please believe me when I tell you the only thing that most men have to offer you is money. Most of them are morally bankrupt, corrupt, and they think that they're better than you because you're a woman and they're a man. The companionship, the love, the affection, the attention, the attention, excuse me, that you think you're going to receive, you're not going to get because money is honestly the most that most men have to offer you. So if they're not giving you that, toodles. One of the things I think has happened to the recent dating arena is that it's become so money focused that for many guys, there's just no reprieve from the idea that you can separate your value from the money that's in your pocket. Mm -hmm. And so when dating becomes so extremely transactional for a lot of guys, they just see value as how much money can I accumulate? And if you have that particular mindset, then it leads to guys, especially when they go overseas, taking that mentality with them. But to be honest with you, I can't really be upset at guys because if you're in an environment where everything around you says your, your value is 100% tied to how much money you can spend on a woman, then guys are going to evolve in that particular situation. I agree with Pops. Like The environment here in the U.S. is all about money. And most men growing up that you're nothing without money. I grew up that way, too. It's my family is really money oriented. You know, they don't talk about anything else other than money majority of the time so when men just grow up this way they think that money yeah is the end all be all and as long as i have money i can do whatever i want so i'm just gonna you know throw them at women to get what i want but i would dare say that spending a money on a woman is not tricking in itself that is not the issue this is a hostess and she's working in a snack bar which is where businessmen or men after they go to work come and want to unwind and it's kind of sort of like a strip club if you will but it's much more classy but one thing that you see happen here is you have a lot of business meetings business talks and i'll be honest with you i've heard guys tell me directly they say that they conduct business conversations in places like this and it becomes a tax write-off and so when you go to a bar like this one and you'll have pretty ladies making you drinks all night and you, you'll run up a tab of, you know, a couple hundred, maybe a thousand dollars or so. And in a way, it might seem like you're actually spending money on women, but you're not necessarily doing that. What you're actually doing is using this interaction as a quote unquote tax write off while you're interacting with women and showing that you have money. 
When I think of the word tricking, I think of the idea of spending money to make a woman like you. Mm -hmm. If you're spending money in a way that you're trying to influence that woman so that she's going to want to be with you or want to give you, you know, relationship or, you know, relations, that by definition in my book is what tricking is. And to be honest with you, that seems to be the tenor of a lot of the relationship talk in America is basically if you don't have enough money to make me want to be with you, then you're going to have to pay for it outright, which either way, it seems like you're going to lose. Yeah. But what I've noticed in my interactions overseas is guys just understand that when you go to places with pretty girls, you don't have to give the money directly to the women. You just do your thing, party, have a good time. And when you come through, they realize that you spend money. But if they want to be with you and get, you know, contact information after you leave, that's one thing. But I have not noticed a lot of guys directly giving money to women. In American culture, especially in the black community, we have so much tied to the fact that if you're not a high wage earner, then you have to prove that you have value. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of black men, I'm pretty sure that they're carrying that overseas. So when you're just in front, we just talked about this in the last video in front of a woman and you're just talking, you for a lot of black men feel like you have to do something or give her something to demonstrate your value, because let's be honest, a lot of the talk relationship wise is simply you're not a baller yet. If you don't, you got to pay to be in my presence. Mm -hmm. And I think for a lot of black men in particular, there's this feeling that I don't have a lot of value. So the, I have to demonstrate my value by being will. Oh, it's trippy that Passport Brops is literally saying the exact very similar things that uh, you know, Kevin was saying in the last video. Willing to give money. And that's what I mean by tricking is that when you feel like you have to give money in order to prove your value, as opposed to just, hey, I'm spending money in the way that I spend it. And for a lot of well-to-do people, like I told you, they're doing it in a way that is a business expense. It's very different from what we're taught in that you got to take me here on the first date. You got to show me that you got the value, that you're a baller. And so a lot of black men feel when they go overseas that, the only way I can show my value is to give her money. Mm -hmm. For some men, it's going to be learning coding. For other men, it's going to be having success in business. For other men, it's going to be acquiring qualifications or raises at work. And for me, I like to stress language learning because these are things that show the world that you are a person who has value. And one thing that you notice when you're with men or people in general who have a sense of value about themselves is that they don't feel the need to give people money to show that they're valuable people. And one of the things I think happens in a black community, unfortunately, is that so many non-select guys are told over and over and over, you don't have the riz, you don't have the, you know, the game, you're socially awkward. This riz stuff kind of like so stupid to me, but I guess that's what the young kids are on right now. And so there's this kind of reinforced need that if I want people to like me, I got to produce and then I got to take what I produce and give it to women and I can buy their affection. And it's something that's not necessarily the case as much as it is in America. And so a lot of American men, particularly black men in our dating environment, which is infested with that kind of thinking, think that the only way that I can get a woman to really care about me or to be into me is that I got to pay her for it. Mm. And it's unfortunate because I think it's a trap that a lot of black men fall into. And so when men go overseas, they kind of distort the local markets by saying, I want this girl to really like me, so I'm gonna ball out. As opposed to, and this is where I think this can make Passport Bros really dangerous, is when a man knows I have money and I can ball out, but that's not what I'm here for, honey. I'm here because I'm a man of value, and if you recognize that, you'll get on my team without me even have to prove anything to you. When Passport Bros are moving that way, then passport bros are going to be a real problem. Remember guys, it's not about the money that you have or the money that you spend. It's about the value that you have in yourself. 
you carry that value and carry yourself in a way that you know that you're the ish and you're about to be the ish in the future and the woman that's talking to you knows that her life will change if you make a certain decision i you're not gonna have to do this money gun throw money up in the air stuff because let's be honest that's not happening in many other countries besides america yep. remember that gentleman oh passport oh geez it's pretty spot on like again this really matches with my last video and just the warning that we have for the african-american brothers again this is for all men not just you know one demographic of men but it seems like one demographic does for, like live more of this lifestyle than than most so please like and subscribe down below i'd really appreciate that and i'll catch you guys next time